Hey, what's up? It's your girl Najima Chanel here with a new video. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how I do my brows. Um, I did groom them yesterday. I tweezed and shaved them yesterday. Um, if you wanna see a video on that, I did record one. It's not that great. But if you guys still want to see it, just let me know and I'll post it. But today I'm going to show you guys how I fill my brows in and how I conceal them. So let's get started. So just a little side note, I am blind and I'm not wearing my glasses right now. So I will be using my little compact mirror to help me out so that I can see. But to begin, the products that I'm using, this is called a creamy gel eyeliner by The Cream Shop. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe not, probably not because I'm by a mirror. I mean a window. But it is by The Cream Shop and it is in the color dark brown. And it's a waterproof cream gel liner. I'm also using this brow liner, the brow slash liner pencil by the brand Cala. Um, I know you can get them from the Beauty Supply store. I kinda like their brushes, but it's the number 504. Then I'm just using a LA Girl concealer. This is Warm Honey, I believe, yeah. And then I'm using this e.l.f. eyeliner brush. Looks like this. Just like flat just a flat brush and then I'm also using this Cala concealer which is the number 513 and this is how this brush looks like all right so of course to get started you definitely want to spoolie to brush your hair these are just some disposable little mascara wands so I got them from these five store so I take this spoolie or the mascara wand and I brush my hairs upward. And then what I like to do is I kind of like to take the spoolie right above it and push those hairs that are sticking up kind of down into, into how they grow, I guess you can say. I haven't, when I do my brows, I don't have those little scissors, so they're still kind of long, my hairs are long. So I kind of just push them down, if that makes sense. You want to do the same thing to the other side. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to take this angled brow liner brush by Cala and I'm going to dip it into my creamy eyeliner my creamy gel liner and I kind of like to squeeze it and make it really flat and it also takes off excess product so me personally I like when brows look as natural as possible don't like the whole sharpie look I'm sorry I don't it's not for me I like them to look really natural so what I do is I start from my tail well I kind of start from the, the arch of my brow at the top and I fill in down the tail. And what that does is it kind of causes a gradient effect. Um, I like when the brows are softer up here and they get a little bit harsher down there. I don't like the full, like I said, sharpie look, harsh all the way through, don't like that. So that's what I do in order to get that effect. I just fill it, create a line at the top, mostly in the more sparse areas. And you know, just fill in what really needs to be filled in, kind of connect like some spots may have some hairs that line up perfectly, but then other parts might not. So I kind of just define the, the top of the brow. I just kind of define the top of my brow. Now, if you look right here, right here is like kind of sparse, so. I definitely go in there and get some product all up and through there. With this creamy gel liner, it goes on really easy. So it's not hard to, to apply it in those spots. Then I'm also gonna go come down the bottom. As you can see, it's less product going on, which is exactly what I want. And that's exactly why I start from the tail. And then I just kind of, again, create a, a nice line that goes all the way to the tail. 
And then I just take the rest of the product and just brush it in, in between the hairs. You can go up here if you want, but I try not to do it too much, because like I said, I like a natural brow. That's what it's looking like so far. No product, product. No product, product. So now I'm gonna work on the other brow. Okay, so once I have them both filled filled in, I kind of check and see if they're even. Just check the shape and make sure that they're kind of, they're kind of twins. Like, I want my brows to be as close to twins as possible, so. So, they look pretty good, pretty decent. So, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal now. So, again, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Warm Honey. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my wrist or the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brush, the e.l.f. eyeliner brush. It's a flat little liner brush. And I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna lightly dip this, I'm gonna lightly dip the brush into the concealer. And I kind of like to start around the arch and conceal down, conceal down towards the tail. And you don't want to get a concealer that is like extremely bright compared to your skin. You don't want to put too much concealer. Can you see? Yeah. And then I like to, after I finish the bottom, I'll start again at the arch of my brow. I felt like the tail was a little short. Sometimes I make my tails a little bit longer. Sometimes I make them shorter. Well, it's kind of thick. Sometimes I like to make them skinnier or thinner. But it's, it's kind of thick, but whatever. But it'll do. Continue concealing, just go right above that line. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. Starting from the arch of my brow. Front. 
Then we're gonna go on top of the bra at the arch. I hope you guys can see. I know I'm holding my hands kind of crazy. Don't ask me why I did that. Like I said, I like to observe them, kind of look and make sure that they are definitely perfect and even. This could definitely match up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. But yeah, so these are my brows right now. Um, you can take a brush, like a blending brush and blend them out. But me personally, I just be like this. I just take my finger and just kind of blend it out, just diffusing it. You don't have to do that much, especially when you're, um, you don't have to sit there and take no no brush and blend it out, especially if you're putting foundation. If you're putting foundation on your face afterwards, you do not need no daggone brush. Girl, you better get, get them fingers. Get them fingers and diffuse this daggone concealer out. Just like that. So yes, these are my brows. This is what they're looking like. To me, they look pretty natural. Um, like they don't look like sharpie-ish or nothing like that. Extra bold or anything, but that is what they're looking like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you a little bit. Um, I hope you guys like my brows because they're cute. They're cute. I wanna thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and leave me some comments of what different types of videos I should post. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. Um, I've been on YouTube for some years and I've never been consistent, but I'm trying now. I'm trying sis, I am trying. So leave me some content ideas in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on IG. It'll be in the description box. Um, and look out for my next video. See you guys.